So welcome back to another vlog. My name is Romoto Ramano, for those of you who don't know me. If you're new here, hi or welcome. I do click that subscribe button down below to become a part of this family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your continuous support. I really do appreciate it. You guys, today we are vlogging. But it is a Sunday, um, after, it's a Sunday afternoon and I just decided to start this vlog now. Um, today has been super gloomy and it is raining. It was pouring in fact like an hour ago but now the rain has stopped a little. I was supposed to do a hair installation video to like open up this vlog but the thunder outside was just not giving me a break. So I decided I'm not going to vlog today but then now that the rain has stopped a bit... I thought let me vlog um the first thing i actually want to do is sort out my bedroom it is a mess i do have a dresser dressing table that i bought from at home um a few years ago if not last i think two years ago so um it is sitting right here it's still wrapped in bubble wrap from the move and i stacked everything like literally all my things are on there and it doesn't look cute and i feel like i need to sort that out but I'm going to do it with you guys and also like um, reorganize it and all of that just for today. And then tomorrow we'll carry on vlogging. But I am going to work at 8 so I might vlog when I come back from work. If not, I'll continue the vlog on Tuesday. But I need to have some content because the other week I couldn't um, upload anything. I was just lazy and I didn't have content. So I don't want to repeat that. So yeah guys, before I blab too much, I'm going to put you guys somewhere and then we're going to sort that area out and try and um, make it look cute also this side where we're supposed to have our closet i don't know if you guys noticed in the household that the closet was not actually in um we dumped literally everything in there so that's where i'm going to dump everything else until we have a um walk-in closet which i think we'll do before the end of the year and i also ordered some curtains some wave curtains for our bedroom they're coming next week so yeah guys let's just sort that out and then I'll, I'll take you through everything as we go so um this is the area that i'm talking about guys like literally there's everything 
on there i just want to sort that out and put my chair there so i can be able to get ready in the mornings um i'm still going to change all this furniture in this room i'm not happy but i do have a vision for it and we'll do it together i also bought some stuff from at home which i will be showing you this needs to go in the bathroom but i'm going to put it with you guys my shoes are everywhere um i am done over here this is how i styled this um little vanity is that what it's called i don't know and here i'm just gonna add a mirror but not now once this whole room is done and i actually know that i actually want a mirror here or not but for now this is what it looks like i've got my perfumes there on the tray and then i've got a mirror on that side with a little plate and i just put my jewelry there and then on this side I've got a vase and my tulips that I bought from that I got from Amazon. I did show them to you in a previous vlog and I've got this body candle that I got from Mr. Price, my Jo Malone diffuser. Um, I did get this from Gugu and Maneo. I'm not sure who bought what, but I did show my candle in the previous um, vlog. But this time I'm using my diffuser in the bedroom and yeah, that's basically it. I'm just keeping it simple. And then over here I've got my um, acrylic chair so yeah that's about it you guys so um from this at home plastic bag i did get this runner for the bathroom and this was like um i think 500 rand yeah 500 rand but it's like a meter long yeah it's a meter long by 60 centimeters so i'm gonna put it in the bathroom tomorrow once the bathrooms are cleaned, I don't want to put it in there while the bathroom is still a bit dirty because we did take our showers quite late. So it's going to get dirty again. So once um, my helper cleans in the morning, then I'll put it in. 
Next thing I got is this. Let me open it. I also got this um, can um, storage thingy to store um, any cans in the fridge, which is going to come in handy because I did get um, everything else from the NEAT system as a gift. So I decided to just buy this. I'm going to buy, I'm going to place an order for labels and more kitchen organization things from the NEAT system on Tuesday or Wednesday. I'll see. And then I bought this whisk as well as a sift. Um, obviously, I chose this because it's gold. I hope I never get tired of gold. And this one is $2.99. So yeah, that's all that I got from at home. Hey my loves, welcome back to another day of this vlog. So I thought I should just start um, today by just installing the wig that I received from Love Me Hair. So today's video is sponsored by Love Me Hair. I have worked with them before, a couple of times before, and I'm always so happy to work with them because they provide best quality wigs. And recently they've been sending me 5x5 five five closure wigs which are so easy to just like grab the wig put it on and go so i love the convenience of the wigs that they have been sending me but today they sent me another one which is also a bob a curly bob but you guys will see it in a moment first of all this is the box that the hair comes in guys this one is a bit raggedy right now i think it got damaged in um the post um, before it got to me but the box is really beautiful i have taken out the hair already it is here on the side but i wanted to show you what else the goodies are that they sent to me so it's got a bow here obviously i have opened the wig and i have seen the hair they gave me this little bag this is basically where i'll be storing my wig on the inside you get two wig caps and they also give you this little pouch on the inside of this pouch we've got a edges brush We've got an edges brush. You can never have too many of those. And then we've got this little silk band to lay your wig flat. And then last but not least, we've got this gold mirror thingy. I know it's a mirror because um, as I said, I've worked with them a couple of times before, but I'm just gonna open it in case some of you have never seen me do their unboxing. And this pouch just basically it's gold so obviously i love it and then it's just um a mirror and then on the back it just says love me so you guys um this is our wig i just put it on a mannequin head um with some white paper so i could see exactly what was going on i just use a hot comb to just lay out the front and flatten it out i literally did not bleach the knots or even pluck this wig it came pre-plucked and bleached so you literally don't have to do anything all i did was just lay it flat with the hot comb so that it makes it easy for installation so this is the wig you guys it is in a kinky curly pattern it is a shoulder length and it is a five by five closure it's got a few holes here because of um the pins that i used to secure it on the wig and it is a bit wide on the uh on the closure because of the wax stick i shouldn't have used that so this is what it looks like and it's got pins on the inside on either side one on the back and then it also has a strap to just make it super tight it's nice and tight which i know is going to make it perfect for like a clueless install that's basically what it looks like i think i'm going to cut this um, little lace off camera and then I'll come back um, once it is cut. So I'm just gonna define the curls quickly because it needs some defining. Um, but the hair looks amazing, you guys. I just have some conditioner and water in this bottle, so I'm gonna just spray it a bit. So this hair doesn't tangle, but like there's a little bit of shedding. Um, it's normal with curly, <clears throat> excuse me. It's very normal with curly hair. Like literally that's all the shedding that I got. I'm super impressed. Like I'm super, super impressed. I know curly hair sheds, but like, that's very minimal. Can you see that? Can you see that bounce? 
I'm not gonna put some mousse because I feel like conditioner for me does it when it comes to curls. Can you see that you guys? I just wanna show you that this is completely glueless. I did not glue it down. Can you see? I am happy with these curls. They look stunning. I keep looking at the viewfinder guys because I can't get over how beautiful these curls look. Okay, these curls are definitely giving what they're supposed to be giving, guys. I am done installing this wig. This was super quick. I love the 5x5 closure. It is giving scalp. It is giving frontal, but at a fraction of the price. So if you really want to have that frontal look, but you can't afford it, you can definitely get yourself a 5x5 closure. All the hair details as well as all the hair specifications and discount codes will be in the description box below so please do check that out and once again thank you so much to love me hair for sponsoring this video and being kind enough to send me this beautiful wig to try out for you guys i am so loving this wig like i'm gonna thoroughly enjoy it I don't think I showed you the bathroom um, screens, the ones that they came to install for our shower doors, but I think I'm going to show that to you now because I think I mentioned it in the previous vlog that we got our shower screens, but I didn't show you and I feel so bad because I think for the past two vlogs I've been saying I'm going to show you and I didn't do that. So yeah, let's do that so that I can also put um, the... Um, bathroom mat on this side of our bathroom as well as a stool that I bought from poetry a while back But I don't want to show it to you guys and I felt like I'm going to do it in the bathroom reveal like a final final um, I don't want to say furnished but like a final styling video of the bathroom But like I'm gonna put it in there because it's taking up too much space now and I'll just unbox it with you guys I might as well. So yeah, let me go show you the screens um, of this bathroom first why is this hair out of place what are you doing playing so guys um in this bathroom this is the first bathroom here um and that's me obviously um this is the screen that they installed for us we still need to paint the ceilings a last coat guys i feel like um, these ceilings need that because I see an inconsistency, but that can be fixed. Anyway, this is a bathroom screen and it does come with some silver fixtures, but um, the company said I can just ask them to just change it up for me, but I'm not going to do that now. I didn't know that they offered gold. I didn't inquire because I had sort of like given up on trying to find gold, but it's not too bad. If you're standing from here like all the gold and the towel they actually draw your attention towards them instead of the shower door but like that's what it looks like and it fits perfectly i'm happy i'm really happy with this shower screen i got it from shower doors sa shout out to my subbies who actually um recommended this place and plugged me thank you so much because um i was successful in finding the perfect shower door that i want with a 45 degree arm instead of a 90 degree arm or rather an arm that comes um that goes from this um part here to the other side so yeah i'm going to show you my bathroom screens so in our bathroom we've got these two screens over here i think you guys can see them nicely that window was not cleaned and i'm not getting a chance to actually um get it to be cleaned i'm definitely not going to do it myself and that light up there i hit it the other day with a broom and it came off so we need to just push it back in but it's not a train smash i'm just going to ask the hub to clean that for me during the weekend <clears throat> or my helper i'll see um and then these are the screens ours don't have um those 90 degree what do you call it support arms yeah that's what they called i asked them not to put them and they said it is okay if they don't put them so yeah this is what it looks like 
and I'm quite happy but over there I want to change that area up and style it nicely but I'm going to do it in a dedicated um, bathroom styling video and then that stool that I was talking about I just want to put it over there in that corner but these are our glass but these are our glass screens and I like that the gap is not too big um initially we were going to have a much bigger gap but I felt like it's not going to look right I wanted to give it like almost like a full glass um I don't know how to describe it but like I wanted it to look like it's glass everywhere so I chose a space where we will be able to fit still but um it's not too big because the guys were suggesting an 800 um millimeter but I decided on this one meter on each side and I am happy with that so yeah this is what our bathroom currently looks like with the two screens I just want to put um that little rug that I bought over there the bath mat sorry over there and then yeah let's put it it looks really nice and I like that it is memory foam is that what it's called yeah I think that's what it's called it looks really good I'm gonna take the stool now and put it in that corner over there so in the box um after I removed the box from that stool I actually found this dipper I forgot about it I'm gonna go put it in my cupboards but it is so cute i'm gonna finish unboxing this and then i'm gonna ask the hub to just put it in our bathroom because he is here now which is even better because it's super heavy yeah this is what the ribbed stool looks like um it is more thicker at the bottom and thinner on the top i really like it i'm not too sure about the color because it doesn't match with that but i think this will have to do so yeah it's sitting there in the corner and on that side i'm gonna put a plant but i'll show you guys just not now but i think that stool is sitting nicely over there because i'm gonna hang um, my towels there obviously so we can't have anything long and it's nicely hidden but not so hidden so hey y'all it is another day please don't mind these i'm gonna change them um i want to go fetch some other stuff from the old house so that i can set up my centerpiece for this area but for now these will have to do Anyway, um, today's another day, obviously, and I've got a campaign that I'm shooting. I can't disclose at the moment, but um, if the campaign is up, by the time I upload this vlog, then I'll put it on the side for you guys to see. So, um, it's been like three days or four days since I've been shooting that content, guys. There's so much that goes into content creation. But anyway, um, I need to make a snack board that we made the other day. Um, with the hub and crazy and took the content so I need to take pictures so I'm gonna have to recreate that um, snack board and I thought I'd just do it with you guys just so you see how I basically do a snack board of our favorite things that we enjoy <music> my i don't know if i should call it a cheese board or charcuterie board or a snack board because there's not much cheese here anyway i've got some pineapple and also i was running out of ingredients and my fruits were not so good anymore so i'm just gonna use these that i have for now just for the pictures and then i'm gonna get rid of them because <laughs> i feel like they are off Anyway, I've got pineapple, I've got um, mini cheddars, I've got gouda and cheddar cheese um, blocks from Woolies, I've got salami steaks, I've got strawberries, I've got my salami that I made into a roll, some bultong, some grapes, chocolate, strawberries, and the balsamic and onion 
dip i love this dip so much you guys should try it out it is amazing and here i just have some cashew nuts i've got some chocolate um chuckles from Woolies, and i've got some jelly beans so yeah i'm gonna go take some pictures now It is a Saturday and I just changed my bedding. I usually do it on Fridays, but yesterday I was super stressed. I had to go back to Aesop's. I don't think I told you guys, but yesterday I am, I was meant to collect my, day before yesterday, I was meant to collect my wave curtains for our bedroom. But when I got here, I realized that they're too small. They used the wrong measurements and I was worried that they're not going to refund me or exchange and make the correct size. But the thing is, I paid for them to come and measure. So they... Are the ones that got it wrong and thankfully they were happy to um, change the rail and all of that so it is another delay and it just means that I'm gonna be sleeping in a room with no curtains for another week um, I was super frustrated super stressed I wanted to vlog yesterday but I couldn't anyway you guys um, I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got from Amazon I think I did tell you about it it's the shower caddies um, I went for a clear plastic actually let me show you what I'm talking about in our shower initially i was just using this caddy here doesn't look too good but i have to show it to you guys because this is real life but it wasn't aesthetically pleasing and my things would just tip over so i decided i need to get a shower caddy but i didn't want a gold one or a silver one and even if i wanted gold i'd have to spray paint it because i can never find gold and i knew that i'm not going to find the perfect shade even if i were to go to at home or um 
Mr. Price home, it would have to be this color of this caddy. But yeah, I decided I'm gonna go for an acrylic gloss one. So this is what I found from Amazon. I installed it the other day. I was not feeling too well. I was, my moods were just down. So I decided to install it without you guys, even though I wanted to unbox and show you the whole thing. So this is the new thing that I got for our bathrooms. And then on this side, on this side here, I got the exact same one for the hub. It is a bit skew. I'm going to fix it because they do give um, an extra adhesive. So yeah, I'm going to pack our things on there. So the hub is not here and um, his things are not here because um, he's got a conference that he had to go to in Joburg. Even though um, these things are not too aesthetically pleasing, I'm going to put them there. But I want to decant them in a very nice um, <clears throat> excuse me, container or dispenser or whatever. But for now, I'm going to use these or I'm going to buy like aesthetically pleasing shower gels like your Joe Malone's or Dio, but it's just quite pricey. But I'd like to, you know, just spoil myself because why not? I'm a firm believer in romanticizing my life. So I don't see a reason why I shouldn't be showering with like Joe Malone and all of that stuff. And then these ones, I'll just decant them in something that looks aesthetically pleasing. This thing has rusted so much. That's what I'm saying. This is real life, but I could have just like... <laughs> not showing you this but i'm gonna show you because yeah anyway um let's put this one in the middle it's my, it might not fit i've got a feeling it's not gonna fit actually let me put it there i don't know i didn't think of that anyway yeah i'll put it there and then i'm gonna put my daily scrub here by Cetaphil. um it doesn't look too good but it's okay and then last but not least my gyna guard then if I do use a bar of soap, I could put it there, but I don't use that. I do sometimes, but it's very rare. And then I'll just put my loofah there. And then there we have it. It looks much better. So now I can get rid of this here. And I'd like for us to use this color towels. Um, <clears throat> this one is mine. And the hubs one is that one so we'll just have to remove that and i'm gonna buy more so that he also has the same color and we can literally just like share towels it doesn't really matter because they do get washed and then i can just get rid of this i'm gonna go put it in the trash so this is what it looks like from the side guys aesthetically it's not pleasing and i'd like this bathroom to be very aesthetically pleasing even my loofah is going to be white from now um, guys before you guys ask um this sage green bedding i got from at home a while back like a while back and then the rest of the bedding i think is at home and mr price home so yeah in case any of you have been wondering i doubt you get this bedding still but yeah in case you guys are wondering hi guys it is literally way later on in the evening and i just remembered that i said i'm gonna do a few unboxings and yeah i, I was just really lazy today and another thing is that i'm a little bit sad because i wasn't able to send this video to the to the to the company that has sponsored um, parts of this video in the beginning which is love me hey um on friday so i do know that they don't work on weekends so you guys are not going to get a vlog on sunday but this vlog is going to come out on monday so yeah i know my subbies are not going to be happy but there's really nothing i can do guys i couldn't bring myself to like finish editing it because there was just so much that i had to do so i had to delay it and obviously i'll just send it through tomorrow which is a sunday and then by monday they'll approve it and then maybe in the afternoon i'll just um, upload the vlog for you guys so the first thing i want to unbox is actually this package from the pursuit online i received this package when we were still at the other house guys i haven't been getting time to actually come to unboxing this um package and yeah i feel super bad but i felt like it deserved to be unboxed on camera the other dress that was in the other box is already packed away but i'm gonna unbox this and then i'll go fetch the dress so you guys can see it um it just has this card um that also came off because of the move and the box is just looking yeah it shows that it has been through a lot i'm gonna open it for you for you guys so you can see what um they sent me this time around so as you can see packaging always 10 out of 10 they actually do make an effort in their packaging they always just make sure that their packaging is perfect 
and i'm glad that i received something orange so i wanted to wear something orange for my instagram feed i don't know but like i feel like when i'm wearing bright colors it just makes my feed look a bit nice it's not like an organized feed or anything like that but um yeah i just love how color looks on my feed anyway you guys um the first thing that i picked out was this little corsette top which i'm gonna put a picture on the side i can't fit it unfortunately now because obviously your girl is pregnant and when i picked out these um my belly was quite small but they took um i think it takes seven working days or something like they took a little while and then i told her not to rush because um i'm pregnant but i still asked her to send this top which i'm gonna wear after pregnancy at that time i could still wear it but i'm the one who delayed and all of that stuff but anyway hopefully i will like go back to my old body but we'll see even if i don't um it's only natural guys i have been creating a human being a whole human being and then the next set is this orange set that i feel is gonna look super sexy on me this is the top even with my belly i feel that these types of tops are very flattering to the chest and it also comes with like a pencil skirt i'm loving pencil skirts and crops i posted a picture today on um instagram actually where i wore a crop top and a pencil skirt and i feel like that looks very nice on my baby bump so yeah this is the pencil skirt and that goes with the the crop top and it's got a slit so that is a bonus for me but if you want to see me wear this guys follow me on instagram i will definitely wear it over there and then you guys can see how it looks like on i'm gonna quickly go fetch the dress quickly so i can show it to you guys and then i want to go and style the nook in my guest bathroom and i think i'm gonna do it with you guys i've got like a little idea um, of how i want to style it i had already styled it and it looked really nice but there's something that i also want to add and so i removed everything but now i'm gonna go put them back because i feel like they looked nice there i'll be back just now so guys i went to grab this dress i already fitted and it looks so cute even on my belly bump and it still fits like it fits it's not I was expecting that it's not going to fit, but I think it's because of the adjustable straps on the side. This dress, Michali has it, and I'm sure you guys have seen it. I don't know where she bought hers, but um, if you want to see how it looks like on me, again, follow me on Instagram. I will wear it there. I think you guys have seen this dress around before. Some people have it short but mine is long and it's got some adjustable straps on the side. Um, I'm definitely going to post pictures in all of these items on Instagram except for the yellow crop um cassette top because it's not gonna fit so yeah guys let's go style the bathroom nook and then i think i'll do the unboxings the other unboxings tomorrow because i'm quite tired i want to go sleep now. so guys this is how i decided to style it um i just put that full plant on that side and then on that side i put um some body wash body scrub and like a bone bath um slash um shower gel and it's very minimalistic i got that um those three things from a neighbor last year on my birthday and they smell really good they are from woods in case you guys would like to buy them and i don't know how to pronounce the name of it but like i think you guys can see it there and then that plant is from mr price home i have had it for like a really long time this is what it's going to look like for now yeah that's that's how it looks guys so guys um i'm gonna do this unboxing because if i don't do it now then i might not do it ever again anyway i went on to snatcher and like um i think it's a us um girlies that actually have these kinds of gadgets that they always buy on amazon and all of that and i figured we might need this because we've got those tiny tiles in our bathroom shower slash bath slash wet room so i just wanted my helper's job to be a bit easier instead of her scrubbing all those floors like on her knees and manually so i thought i should just buy this scrubbing brush I got it on Snatcher. I didn't buy it on Amazon because Amazon is quite pricey. I only buy things on Amazon if I really can't find it anywhere in SA. So it's basically, I already opened it. So it's basically like a three piece um, scrubber, electric scrubber. You charge it and then you can use it wireless. It's got this scrubbing thingy that looks something like that. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah. And then the other one is tiny 
for like the smaller parts and the corners and the creases and all of that and then the other one is just flat and broad so she can literally use all of these for the bathtub the sinks the floors and all of that so you basically attach i'm gonna attach with this one so this thing actually got stuck in here like this is a new thing like it's a new item but it's already doing this but anyway we'll try and figure it out i'm gonna just connect this so you guys can see so this is what it looks like there is construction like next door and it is currently almost 9 p.m i really don't know why they're drilling at this time of the night but who am I to question them? Anyway, the lighting is really bad, guys. It's later on in the evening. So, yeah, you just connect it there and then there's an on button. And it literally spins. So, you choose um, the head that you want. And you can also um, use this to extend it so you don't have to bend. So, I think this is going to be a really nice gadget. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'll keep you guys updated. The second exciting package that I got is from the Lead System. I did place an order. Um, I didn't place an order for like everything. Mainly, I just wanted labels for the pantry and then for the spice canisters. So I got all my labels and I thought, you know what? Might as well add three of these. So I can put them in my bathroom look and I'm going to label them shampoo, body wash and conditioner because they're really cute. Like I really like them. This is not something that I have always thought about buying. But like after she sent me the previous um, package, which was a gift, I thought, you know what, I'm going to add on. But mainly it was just um, labels. I'm going to come closer just so I can show you. I got a lot of labels, you guys. Like there's a lot. We've got like maize, popcorn um supreme that's for like my spices barbecue like and so much more but like there's a lot okay and then the next package guys my vlogs are going to be filled with um unboxings i think i already did warn you guys this box was from poetry and i got these things a very long time ago but i didn't want to unbox them until um we would move in or closer to moving date but i actually postponed it because i haven't been getting time and this is just a box that says poetry and on the inside on the inside i've got like a cheese um set which is really cute it's like a gold set with like marble and wood let me come closer this is basically what the set looks like i really love it it's so cute and it looks expensive and it was literally 200 and 290 something it was close to 300 rand very affordable and then this is called a marble wood salt and pepper set with a spoon um so this is what it looks like and then there's a little gold spoon on the side and then i bought these measuring spoons they are gold of course so yeah i'm gonna use them when baking or when i need to measure some stuff i hope you guys can see because me from here where i am i can't see a thing and last but not least i've got this little fruit bowl it's very tiny but it's going to be perfect for my island it's like a gold stand and of course this marble it's so heavy this marble bowl so yeah i'm just going to put it here and put my lemons in here i think it's going to look really cute then okay guys sorry about that i received a call i'm so tired i want to sleep anyway i also received those um baskets that i showed you guys in the previous vlog i think for like under my cabinets i bought six of them two are gonna go in the three are gonna go in the guest um bathroom and then the other three is gonna go in my bathroom because i already have two i think i think that's what i had decided on i don't remember so guys um these are all the baskets there's six of them i'm gonna go put them in the bathrooms now i just removed them from the boxes that they were in and i think they're ready to go into the bathrooms and then i'm gonna pack all my things in here so they can be nice and organized but i'm not gonna do it on um the vlog so um this is the guest bathroom and it's empty at the moment there is a bath caddy under there you guys can't really see it now and i'm not gonna bend i'm gonna put the baskets there and then i'm gonna show you. okay so i've put them down there a lovely subby of mine said that um i should just like turn them around and put them sideways 
and I think that's a good idea. I think these look perfect like this. I'm gonna go put um, these ones here in um, my bathroom. This fan really makes a lot of noise, but can we just ignore that for now? So let's act like we don't see the mess um, that's in that one there. But I'm going to sort it out now that I've got enough baskets. So let me put these ones in there. I don't know if I'm going to keep them in that direction or I'm going to turn them around. But yeah, let me do that and then we'll take it from there. So guys, this is what they look like. I honestly feel like I need one more to fit under there because I don't like the gaps, honestly. So I think I might do that and if I put them like sideways then it just looks weird. Let me put them sideways so that you guys can see and you can suggest what I should do. Should I buy one more for this or keep it sideways? Okay, this is another way that I have in mind. I can put them this direction and then fold up, roll up some towels um, nicely in the middle and put them there to fill up that gap. But I don't like this one that much. So I'm going to try putting in um, six baskets, borrow one from the other side and see how six baskets will look all together here and maybe order another one. But um, you guys can just let me know which one you prefer. This way with the towels in the middle or the other way around. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think. Do you prefer them this way with the towels in the middle or without the towels and having them... Um, facing the other direction. Please choose one. Um, let me know in the comment section which one you prefer and then we will go for what the majority um, chooses. Hey guys, so I'm finally closing off this vlog here. I forgot to actually close it off last night but i thought i should just come here and say bye thank you so much for watching until this far if you've made it this far please drop some roses down below in the comment section also please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll see you again next time bye my loves